boy or girl turns out to be, they will be the luckiest person on the planet because there just isn't enough people in the whole wide world to write down all there is to love about you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't mean for this to happen. Yeah, but you couldn't let it go. You had to be the tough guy, just like you were back in Philly, right? You couldn't stand the idea of some other hard case getting the better of Jake Tamara. No, no, it wasn't about the ring. Okay, the ring could be replaced. It was about that moment that you and I just shared right before, right? I wasn't gonna let anybody take that away from us. Jake, life isn't about one moment. It is about all of them. And yeah, we could have replaced the ring. But I can't replace you. Now all I got is a stupid ring. And that memory, that one memory of right before you died. I would give anything, especially this ring, to have you back. But I got such a good deal on it. It's no funny. Come on. Guy threw in the wedding bands for free, remember? I still got them in my pocket. Huh? Right, okay, well then I guess in that case turned out all right. Jake, what am I gonna do now? You're gonna mourn me for a respectable amount of time. <laughs> and then come on, you're Ava Vitali. You're a survivor, you're the survivor, right? You figure it out, because you always do. And then you're gonna be okay. Come here. Hey, come here. you could have known, Gabby. Look, I, I'm so... I'm sorry for your loss. I am. I mean, I know that you moved on, but he meant a lot to you. Yeah, I meant to you, too. I did not kill Abigail. Oh, frankly, I'm shocked that I haven't been framed for that. For you. I lost Samantha because of you. Because of your shameful disloyalty to me and this family. Your your malicious lies. Well, I'll own my part in coming between you and Sammy. But you you slept with her sister all on your own. Bell and I are through. My condolences. Now you have more free time to roam the dark halls of this muscly and blaming me for all your problems which is now none of your concern since you're moving up vj this is our family abode think about the children thomas and charlotte this is the only home they've ever known my niece and nephew are welcome to stay 
Do you think I'm going to leave my children here with you? Never. They're coming with me. It's clear there's not enough room in this mansion for anything other than your bruised ego and self-pitying paranoia. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. And don't forget to bring me those certificates for your shares. Chanel is going to choose an immature little child like you? She, you started it. Did not. Did too. Oh, you are ridiculous. You know what? Let she who is without sin cast the first pie. You called me a nasty name, so yeah, I threw pie at you. I called you a little tart. Oh. Yeah, no. wait, wait, which, which was a term, which a term of endearment. Yeah, so is this. Oh, okay. Wait. Truce. I am going to slowly... Reach my hand into my pocket. Just put the pie down. Put the pie down. And no phone will get hurt. Chanel. She wants to see us. She's ready to choose. Suspense. It's not every day that I make a romantic proclamation in the town square. 